Hi. Oh, it's a day of bargains today at Highlight Cross, which is super, super exciting. So I want to introduce you to something that I've had my eye on. Might treat myself today, payday tomorrow. I think I can treat myself today. So I'm going to put this to one side. I'm going to bring this in. So this is a set that we've got in the warehouse. And when Stephanie showed me, I was a little bit giddy about this because I had the really, really expensive ones. And these, I have to say, are just as good. So these are watercolour brush pens. If you saw our lovely Hannah do the last embossing stencil show, this is what she was using. And they were um, on TV then, but we've got them now on our website. They're at a great price. So you're getting 20 colours and a water brush pen. Come in its own little wallet. Crazy price. And you can take these out. So you've got all the 20 colours. Oh, sorry, that wasn't very nice. Going yellow, oranges, into pinks, deeper pinks, reds, greens, teals. And then you've got your brown and your black. And you also get a water brush. See if it's got a valve in it. That's the key for me. Yep, it's got a valve in it. So that's great value for money. Now, if you're sitting at home, I want you to think about how much that would be. Ready? Okay, I'm going to give you a minute to think about it. I'm just going to show you one of the brushes so that you can see what they look like. So a nice barrel and it's a proper brush. So if I just take this, it's a proper brush. Look, it's a proper brush nib. So it splays, look, but it goes back to its really fine point. That's the sign of a really good brush. Now for a brush pen like this from a different brand, from an art brand, I would say probably 15 years ago, these were £2.99 a pen, similar to this. So this is a great opportunity, even if you don't do a lot of watering, watercolouring, but you like your stamping or you like making your inky backgrounds. Maybe you just want a little bit of colour in the background somewhere. And rather than using an ink, you could use these. But you can also go in really tiny spaces because that brush is super, super fine. So maybe you don't want to invest a lot of money in watercolour products because you're only going to use them a few times a year. This is your time now to get the best deal that I think we'll, we've ever had on something like this. £11.69 for 20 pens and a water brush. And I know I'm sounding like I'm a little bit like surprised. <laughs> But I'm a little bit gobsmacked, actually, because that price is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. For the quality that you're getting here, that's amazing. You look how fine I can go with that line. Super, 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 super fine. But you can also go wider. So how do they colour? How do you use them? What's the best way to use them? I would suggest that because it's funny isn't it with the watercolour pens because sometimes if you put the colour down first and then try and brush it out you get that line and you can't blend it out because the ink's already absorbed into that watercolour card and talking about the watercolour card I'm working on a 300 GSM cold pressed watercolour card it's got a really nice texture on one side and it's really smooth on the other so you can take your pick um 24 sheets no, I don't think that's right. 30 sheets. 30 sheets. I'm doing it out of six sheets. That's no good. 30 sheets, A4, 300 GSM. Really, really, really good quality. So let's have a look at some of these colours. So let's bring in a couple of pinks. So what I would do is take your water brush and lay water down. So let that water start to absorb into that cardstock. Because I find that if you put your pen down first, and this is the same with a lot of brushes like this, same with watercolour pencils, you know when you put the pencil down and then you try and blend out that scribble and it doesn't always work. So we're going to do it a little bit different. We're going to put our water down first with the water brush that comes in the kit. <laughs> like we're not giving you enough already. And then we're going to go in at the bottom with this nice pale pink and that will then start to just blend through so you can push it through with the water if you don't feel you've got enough on your card go back in add a little bit more water okay now as I said in the previous video I am no watercolor artist at all 
but these are brilliant. Now, if you go over, and I'm doing this purposely to show you what not to do. If you go over here, now while that is wet with the nib, it's gonna dilute the color down, all right? So I'm gonna get you to put the color down first. Well, the water down first, then the color, then water it out. Let's see if it works if we do this because it's not lead, it's not a pencil, so it's not going to damage the wood. I just want to see what this is gonna to do to the nib and I'd rather I tried it than you try it, okay? It doesn't have enough, doesn't pick enough color up that way. So we're just gonna go in and we're gonna go right over here like this and look. Now you can see that water starting to soak into the watercolor card. Look how smooth that goes down now. That is lovely. And you can see, as I get to the top where the water's dried, it's going darker, which is great. So you can get lots of different effects with this and from light to dark, of course. So you can go much paler the more water you add. So let's see how it brushes out now. Yeah, so I can pick up some of this color now. And I'm just gonna keep going in this one spot just to show you how good this watercolor card is because a lot of watercolor card now would have been pilling and you'd be able to roll it. Look at this. And it is an ink, it's not paint, it's an ink, it's a water-based ink. So you can do little flick techniques like this. So just like I taught you with ink, Lily, like a nice little flick technique. And again, when these are gone, they're gone. We bought a certain amount, we bought the stock, when it's gone, it's gone. And I can just go in now. I can also come into the color like this. So if you find that you're getting a little bit of a line across, just come back into it. And I'm just gonna scribble a few of the colors out for you. Um, we also have a deal on Lou's Moodling stamp. So if you head over to the outlet, Highlight Crafts website, the um, Moodling stamps are on there on a deal. Half price deals, okay? So if you're into your moodling or you've never tried it before and you want to have a go or you just like the idea of having a stamp, but look at the intensity of this color. You wouldn't think that that was a watercolor. So you can just use them like this. You don't have to add water at all and you don't have to use them on watercolor card. They would work on you super smooth, but they have the option. That vibrancy of color is phenomenal. That tells me that the pigments are really good quality. Let's try in a few more colors so you can see what you're actually getting. Let's go in for this teal here. Let's see what this looks like in this letter. So even dry, look at that. The coverage is fabulous. Just take your time, use that brush because it is a proper brush nib. They're amazing. I love these pens. They're absolutely fab. As soon as I saw them, I was like, oh, that's my first day at school as a child. I always loved the first day at school of a new term because you get new, or a new year, probably, not a new term, but every year, because you used to get new stationery. <laughs> it was like the best thing in the world. So I've had this, this love of color and pens from being really little, probably because my dad, that's probably why. But look at this, look how fabulous that is. I love these, if you can't tell. <laughs> They're just amazing. And I have the really expensive ones. And these, brilliant. Right, so recap the deal. You're getting Colour Art Water Brush Pen Set, 21 pieces, so 20 coloured pens and a water brush inside a tray that goes inside a wallet normally $14.99, which is a steal anyway. Deal price is $12.99, and if you're a Club Highlight member, £11.69, and then you get your points. Love it, right. And if you want the watercolor pad as well to go with it, this is incredible quality, I have to say. This is the sort of the professional quality. You're getting the Mozart watercolor pad, 30 A4 sheets, 300 GSM, smooth on one side, textured on the other, cold pressed, should be £25, reduced down to £19.99, £17.99 for club members. What a great day to pick up some deals. And if you're somebody that doesn't do a lot, but you just want like, might like to dip your toe in, what a great way to start. Right, I'm gonna go and teach a class now. See you soon, lots of love, bye. 
If you want to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to receive notifications of all our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.